Welcome back. This is Yamajack. Video I just recorded was the, uh, the breakdown video. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to continue talking now that I'm a little bit more sane about how not on that map. <laughs> uh, also, RTX voice, I was using it. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good. Uh, music's getting their turn on a little bit. A little bit more than that, please. There we go. That should be good. Um, <laughs> RDX voice, kinda... I laugh a lot, and I think it was cutting it out. And I think that's just not something that we want. So, we're not gonna do it. Uh, let's do Santa's Workshop, because why not? I know that we'll fight the Abomination, and I want to win right now. Not that I've been losing, but... So yeah, the one that we just had was the Autistic Breakdown video. It's one that I just recorded, so I'm gonna try to get this one up as the next video. Um, see if we'll see if it works. I'm not I'm not honestly sure, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best and uh, see how it goes. You see, the 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 uh, you might be able to still tell like um, some difficulty with my uh, my talking in this video but it shouldn't be nearly to the same degree as what uh, as what it was in that last video I mean I can talk fluently I don't stutter nearly as much I do still stutter um, you know I'm not gonna lie I, I, I do stutter still um, but not nearly as much and that's real good so I think that that video is gonna be it's not uh, oh, that's a uh, that's a, that's, a, that's a little shooting in the, the foot boys. Um, I'm not sure how I want to describe what I want to talk about, but I want to talk about, about autism in this in this one, okay? Because I've been having a lot of trouble with autism lately, and uh, it is showing up in the videos, um, definitely, because I'm talking about it, like, more, and uh, the breakdown, it probably wouldn't have happened if I wasn't already having um, troubles elsewhere in my life. That was already kind of causing me to not have a breakdown necessarily, but to have um, be affected at the at the very least. The magic word is magic. Magic. Why didn't it work earlier? Um. So why didn't it? Oh, it's fine. So yeah, it's, it's kind of odd. Some works for me now. It's I don't like the the high functioning and the low functioning labels. I don't like people saying that like oh I have like extreme autism or anything like that. Like that's not really what autism is. Like somebody's not like that wasn't me having severe autism. Like that was me just being autistic. Like any autistic person is gonna have moments like that in their life. And you know we'll we'll say that like somebody's high functioning. Like me right now I'm high functioning. Right I'm talking. I'm fluent. I'm I'm able to, to maintain a stream of consciousness. I'm, I'm a high-functioning autistic person, right? But was was the last video also high-functioning? Or, or was that one low-functioning, you know? So it's kind of like, well, which one is it, you know? Like, let's get this thing welded. Am I high-functioning or am I low-functioning? I don't know. All I know is that I have autism, and it, it really gets in the way sometimes. And uh, that's kind of how it goes. Is uh, I don't I don't like saying that I'm high functioning or low functioning, but that I have, you know, troubles, issues with some things, and I'm good at other things. And uh, sometimes I break down. And you know, putting a, a high functioning or, or a severe label on that just doesn't really feel like accurate. You know, like. Um, God, it's so loud. I had to turn up. I was just listening to my voice, and I, I record. Really, I'm, my voice is really quiet, I think, so I had to turn it up. Anyway, I don't like, you know, the high functioning, the low functioning labels because everybody has it. That's what, that's what autism is. I mean, you know, somebody who can't talk, who's who's non-vocal, you know, they're going to be treated as, as low functioning their whole lives. But maybe they can, you know, understand social situations. Maybe they can handle seeing a spider in a game without breaking down completely you know like I, I don't claim that you know what I have is as bad as somebody who's who's, who's completely non-vocal but I, I uh, you know to say that it's just a more severe version or a lower functioning version of what I have is is insulting to us both I think personally um, 
because that's just not really the whole story, you know? There's, there's a lot more to it that, uh, a lot more nuance that, um, where is it coming out? Down there? Yeah. There's a lot more nuance to it that, uh, just doesn't get counted when you're exclusively, um, talking about how, you know, you're high functioning or you're low functioning, because that's just not, not how it works. Um, have I killed all the Zeds? Are they all dead? Where are the Zeds? There's a couple of Zeds up there. And right here. Hello. Where's the last Zed? I don't see the... Dusted. Um, so for me, it's... Uh, you move. Yeah, you move. That's sweet. Um, it, 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 it shows itself in that I have trouble talking. Um, and especially if I'm, I'm going through like a stressful situation or something like that, like those spiders are for me, um, you know, I have a lot more trouble even, uh, handling it. Um, and that's, that's what autism is for me. I feel like a lot of people don't really understand what it is and, and they think that it's something that it isn't. And I don't know. It's just, uh, it's, it's frustrating to, to hear people talk about, you know, like they're they're severely autistic brother or something like that just because like you know he can't hold a conversation he throws fits or or something like that i'm like well i don't know if he's severely autistic or if he just has not the help that he needs like you know it feels disingenuous to just kind of like it, it feels like it's just kind of brushing off that like it isn't necessarily his fault entirely that he's different you know like to, to a certain extent, there is effort that I can put in to uh, be more traditionally normal, but also, like, I, I'm not, I, I'm not normal, <laughs> you know? So it's like, I don't know. And, um, you know, people will say that, that their brother is severely autistic just because of these reasons. I'm like, well, he just needs help. You know, maybe maybe when you've, like, talked to him about these things, maybe he won't be so severely autistic. You know, once once he's had maybe some counseling or therapy or, or, or something else like that, like supportive, actually good therapy. You know, like, I've had a lot of therapy, like, eight years of, of therapy, like, constantly. You know, like, it's 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 a lot of work. It's it's a huge time investment to get to where I am for my for me, you know. And like back when I was younger, I would have also been counted as severely autistic. And it just feels like it's dismissive of what autism is as a whole when people say that to me. Because rather than saying that they're severely autistic, it's just they need help. It's not severe or anything like that. It's just they need help. And. Uh, just calling them severely autistic and kind of dismissing it like that isn't giving them the help that they need. Um, anyway, the moral the moral of the story is that um, you know we all have moments. All of us autistic people, we all have moments. It's also uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> we all have moments where we shut down, where we can't handle what's going on. We all have different triggers for it, different things that we do to to relax or to calm down. Um, we handle the situations in, in different ways, you know, because we're all different. And uh, for me, that, that that ultimately means not talking. Right now, actually, um, I'm already like not really talking. Like in uh, for my family, I have not really talked to them um, at all for almost a week now. Um, I don't really know why, but. Um, Talking to them is just a, a very... Come on, get that shot. Yeah! Talking to them is just a very challenging um, thing to do for me right now. And, uh... Yeah, it, it, it doesn't make me, you know, low-functioning or severely autistic. It just means that right now I'm semi-verbal at best. <laughs> I don't know. We're shooting faces and um, killing the abomination. I don't know. I don't know how to describe what I want to describe. Really. 
I just want people to understand what autism is better because I don't think people really do, and it's it's really frustrating. When um, you know what the, you know what the most frustrating part is, honestly, is uh, growing up. Um, I was much much worse than I am now. Um, you know, I, I hadn't learned how to cope with uh, with things or how to uh, to handle different situations as well as I can now. So it would happen a lot more that I broke down and. Uh, when I did, it was, generally speaking, a lot worse. Um, and phone calls used to be one of the things. I still don't like phone calls, but I can I can make a phone call, okay? You know, you need me to make a phone call. I can make I can make a phone call, okay? I don't I don't wanna. I would I would rather rather not. Really, really, really rather not. But you know, you need it to happen. I can make it happen, okay? Uh, back in the day. No, no. You wanted me to make a phone call. It's not happening. I'm not making a phone call. It's no. It, it, I, I would. I will not make a phone call. Um, and uh, what was really frustrating is when I was growing up, people would always tell me like, "Oh, it's just a phone call. Like, just dial the numbers, and then talk to the other person." And I'm like, "Well, I just can't." You know, and people wouldn't be able to understand that. And um, I don't know, it made me feel stupid to a certain extent because, like, you know, it, it, I felt inadequate at times because, you know, you're you're not able to do something that everybody else thinks is easy, but at the same time, you know, I can do things that other people find as hard. Like, I can sit down and record 14 episodes of Killing Floor today because... You know, I can just do that. That's not a problem to me. I'm, I'm having fun and I'm gonna record 14 episodes, right? Like, it's fine. Um, I'm also, uh, generally speaking, what are you doing? I thought we had to do like a little thingy. I guess not. Um, what was I saying? Also, like, pretty empathetic. Like, I, uh, I have a lot of empathy. So, you know, for, for people, like, I enjoy, I enjoy media more than the, uh, the average person. You know, you watching this, I probably enjoy media more than you when I, when I watch it, read books or whatever, because, um, you know, I'm able to, to really kind of, like, get into it and, um, put myself in the, in the position of these characters and, uh, like, I don't know how, how to explain it, but uh, that, that's one thing that um, happens often with autistic people is, uh, you want to not be there? Thank you. Is uh, they get really invested in characters and really emotional about uh, certain things. Like, I remember uh, way back in the day, um, I was watching Pokemon, and uh, it was when Ash left Charizard at, like, this mountain region or whatever. I cried so much, and I wasn't allowed to watch Pokemon anymore because uh, I cried, and I'm not supposed to be crying when I watch TV, but I'm like, but to me, that was a, a really touching moment, and I cried. You know, I wasn't, like, scarred or, like, anything like that, but I wasn't allowed to watch Pokemon anymore because it was too scary for me or something. I don't know. Um, come on. Um... So, yeah, I don't know. We might run out of ammunition here. I hope we don't, but uh, we're running pretty low on the ammunitions. Let's get this welded up. Make sure this is nice and welded. I don't think it actually dies. I think it just stops, like, when it's, um... At, like the it's just a percentage of how quickly it moves I believe like the, the health bar up there I believe it's just a, a scale for how quickly it's able to move I think um, so yeah the the moral of the story is I get really invested into to characters in uh, like media anime um, TV um, books you know all of it the whole nine yards like I get really really invested into it and uh, to me, I feel like it makes it more enjoyable than if you're not invested into it. 
you know, like if you're not so passionate about, you know, the media that you're watching, then I feel like maybe it isn't that good. You know, I don't know. What are we here, boys and girls? Can they spawn up here? I don't know. I think I bet they can. Just a bit more to go. It's a blooming strike. All right, let's take this great out. Goodness gracious me. That's the grenade right there. Oh, good. See ya. I don't like any of this what's happening right now, okay? I'm a little overwhelmed with, uh, with Zeds right now. I'm not sure... There's so many Zeds, like... Oh my god. I hope it doesn't fail, because it might. But I think it just stops moving. I believe. I believe that's... It just stops moving. I'm not I'm not gonna test it, because I don't want to, like, lose, but... Come on. Get in there. Get in there! Should be another scrape somewhere or the other. I think I heard one, right? Could be a flesh pound, though. Wherever it is, it's the last boy left, so I don't see the thing. It's down over there. Coming up here. Cool. Seems like a scrape. Come on, just get him in the head. Come on. Come on. See, that's, that's one of the really frustrating things to me, is when people just don't understand it, and then they, like, mock you. You know, like, why can't you do this easy thing? I'm like, well, it's not easy. And I'm like, why can't you do this other thing that I find easy? And they're like, well, that's not easy. And I'm like, well, yeah, because we're different people, and we find different things easy or hard. It's uh, it's actually kind of, like, neat, because people who are neuro uh, neurodivergent are actually better at talking to neurodivergent people than neurotypical people are, so... Your typical is somebody who doesn't have anything with their uh, their mental health. Um, you know, they uh, normal, so to speak, right? Whereas somebody who's autistic is not bad at communicating. They're just bad at communicating to people who aren't autistic. Because, like, you get a bunch of autistic people in a group together. They're going to be able to communicate just fine. It's just that we don't use the same methods of communication that... Um, you know, neurotypical people would use. Like, I don't care to... Like, I don't use body language, and... I mean, I, I do these days, but, like, not naturally, right? Like, I, I force it. Right? And, um... I don't like this boss, because it's not the real abomination, and I can't see where his face is as well. Anyway. Um, it's still the abomination, though, so he's still easy. It's just, uh, you know... You could be easy. Um, it's, it's, a, it's fascinating, because if you see there's this, like, um, I don't know what I'm saying, but, uh, you can talk about, uh, I don't know, I think there was a research paper done on it, where, uh, but regardless, if you, like, do a test or something like that, like, you'll find, uh, that, um, neurotypical people and neurodivergent people just, like, aren't necessarily bad, they just are like different species and they just can't communicate you know I don't know if that's the right way to put it but <laughs> it's fascinating to me I don't know I love I love how just horrible our brains can be at being you know normal or human at times you know like please just I don't want any of this stuff what are you I love, I love it. You know, people who are OCD or ADHD or anything like that. Like, I don't think that um, people who, are, who have OCD are better at communicating with uh, autistic people, necessarily. But somebody who's OCD is probably better at communicating with another person who's OCD than somebody who doesn't. Um, just because, you know, your brains have the same thing. They, they work the same way. So you just 
gonna be better at uh, communicating with each other, right? Please do not die to the abomination. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how this episode was, but I want us to talk about autism in it because I just had a breakdown and uh, I thought it was a was a good little thing to talk about. The next episode isn't going to be all about autism, but this one was. 10,000 Bosch. Whoa. That's going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you want to say something, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.